Okay, this sermon is entitled, Faith Plus Works, Stupidity. Like to open up with prayer, and then with a few verses, all right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 34 reads, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Now, the false prophets of this world, they love to say that if you're truly saved, you'll have works as evidence. Or you don't have true faith unless there's works to accompany it. They go into James chapter 2 and they go to verse 26 and it reads, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Now, what's so stupid about these false prophets is I don't see a whole lot of works coming out of them. And the truth is, is that these people don't have great works. And the only reason they're teaching this is because they're stupid and they're a false prophet working for Satan. And this is the dumbest idea ever, that if you have true faith, it'll prove itself by works. This makes absolutely no sense. It's illogical. A person picking up sticks does not prove that he has faith. You can't say, well, my next door neighbor has great faith because he's a ditch digger. A person doing yard work or push-ups or curling a 50-pound dumbbell does not prove they have faith. And this is not what James is talking about. James is simply talking about putting your faith to work to be productive. It has nothing to do with salvation, and it has nothing to do with having evidence of true faith. Now, here's why this doesn't work. Number one, there are scads of people out there who have works, but who aren't even saved at all. For instance, you have atheists who do good works, agnostics, Muslims, Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, you have Catholics, you have Satanists, you have secular humanists, you have pantheists who worship the cosmos, you have the pizza guy out there who doesn't have any belief system. He does good works. He delivers pizzas every night. This does not prove that he has faith. Now, according to the Bible, it's the one who doesn't work but has faith in Jesus Christ who's actually saved. In Romans chapter 4, it reads in verse 5, But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. So don't fall for this stupidity of faith plus works because of a misinterpretation and a misreading of James. The truth is, is that if you add works to faith, you don't have faith. You can't say that your faith is in Jesus Christ alone if you're looking to yourself and your performance. A person does not have faith in Christ if he's outside mowing the lawn thinking that that is what's really saving him or proving that he's saved. So the truth is, is that you have to not be doing any type of works at all. Then you can have faith in Christ, faith alone in Christ alone, and that's true salvation. So it's not faith plus works that saves, it's faith without works. Faith plus nothing equals salvation. So watch out for this stupidity. The only reason that people are teaching this is because they're unsaved. And they're looking for any reason they can find to not trust Christ and to pawn that garbage off onto others so that they don't trust Christ either. And works is very convenient because it's just something the natural mind automatically comes up with. So faith plus works is nothing but stupidity and it's a false gospel straight out of hell. So that's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen.